Welcome to the animal planet. Soar right past the edges of your computer screen. Let the eagle guide you to the wildest places on earth. A single click and you can fly through forests, dive into the ocean, cross scorching deserts, or trek to the frozen Arctic. You're in for a wild flight. The rainforest is literally crawling with life. But you'll notice as you move through this forest that a lot of animals, like the taper ambling along in the river and the brightly colored poison dart frog, are endangered. Scientists estimate that we're losing four to 6,000 plant and animal species every year, worldwide. Look around this forest and find out why. Use the bioweb to learn what you can do to help. Resplendent Quetzal. Three-toed sloth. It's no secret that sloths are slow, but just how slow may astound you. Moving at 0.5 kilometers an hour when it moves at all, a sloth can take a full day to travel 38 meters. In fact, it moves so slowly that algae grows on its fur, giving it a strange greenish tint. The rainforest is made up of different layers, each housing a variety of animals. The forest floor hosts animals like the burrowing toad you see here. Orangutans, with their very long arms and short legs, swing through the trees and call the forest canopy home. What other parts of the forest do the animals here occupy? Hot and dry, high and cold, all deserts have this in common, poor soil and little water. This climate makes it tough for plants and animals to survive. The animals that do live here have special adaptations to help them. Furry feet allow the fennec fox to walk on hot sand. The Texas horned lizard keeps its cool by collecting dew in grooves all over its body. Click to find out how other animals beat the heat. Arabian Camel. Arabian Oryx.
Endangered animals. All over the world there are wildlife species threatened with extinction. Some animals become endangered due to hunting, but the main reason many species are endangered is loss of habitat due to an ever-increasing human population. About 97 million more people on Earth every year. Large animals are not the only ones in trouble. There are also endangered insects, clams, and fish. All rhino species are endangered. Only about 30 white rhinos survive in the wild and about 700 in the zoos. Wild rhinos are often killed for their horns, which are used to make expensive ceremonial knife handles in certain countries. The name white rhino, by the way, comes from the Afrikaans word white, W-E-I-T, and refers to the wide mouth of the white rhino. In 1900, there were about 40,000 tigers in India. By 1972, only 18,000 remained due to hunting and habitat loss. In 1995, there were about 4,000 tigers living in 17 preserves. However, the human population near the preserves is growing, and tigers and humans are still in conflict. Tigers kill livestock and occasionally people, while humans kill tigers and cut forests illegally, diminishing the preserves. High in the Himalayan mountains to the north of India and in Siberia, there's another large cat in danger of extinction, the beautiful snow leopard. Hunted for its luxurious winter fur and killed by local herdsmen, the snow leopard is close to extinction. They are now protected, but their survival is not guaranteed. Bengal tiger. This jungle may seem foreign to you, but you're familiar with a lot of the plants here. Coffee, chocolate, cinnamon, bamboo, and rubber are all supplied by rainforests. All the more reason to protect them. Think about it the next time you make a mug of hot chocolate. Now you've reached the grasslands. You're in good company. Most of the animals here are large. Grasslands are home to big animals that can move quickly. These wide open spaces make it tough to hide from predators, like that cheetah. If you'll notice, many grassland animals, including elephants and giraffes, travel in groups for safety. Click on a few to find out more. Meerkat. You're in a place where early man first walked millions of years ago. Grasslands have survived hunters, gatherers, and farmers. Grass and wildflower roots run deep into the ground. Fires and drought may kill off the tops, but new growth springs up again. Use your mouse to find more grassland facts. Several animals you see here are increasingly difficult to find in the wild. Like the rhinoceros, most endangered species suffer because of human activities. Rhinos are killed for their horns, even though the horns are nothing more than keratin, the same stuff your fingernails are made of. Paddlefish have been hunted to near extinction for their edible eggs. Sadly, you'll find endangered species throughout the animal planet. 
paddlefish. You're here in the middle of a temperate forest. Trees are the heart of this forest, but they're only a part of it. A true forest is a community of plants and animals, all dependent on each other for survival. The pileated woodpecker you'll find here eats insects that would otherwise damage young trees. Click on other animals to find out more about the web of forest life. Take a minute to pause here and listen to the rush of the stream. Imagine that its flow continues right down the mountain and into the sea below. This small stream carries food from forest soil, from falling leaves and even rotting wood, all the way to rivers, lakes and oceans. Fish, like salmon, depend on forests for food. What other forest secrets can you find? Ah, you found your way to the wetlands. Watch out for alligators. Their species is making a comeback. But did you know that one third of all the endangered or threatened animals and plants in the United States depend on wetlands for food or shelter? Click on a few you see here to find out why. Wood duck. American alligator. You've discovered one of the world's oceans. Dive in. This coral reef is just a small part of the ocean, but it's as valuable as any rainforest. To get in deeper, just click. Don't worry. Sharks usually only cruise through the reef looking for food a few times a day. See any? People are only part-time visitors in this underwater realm. But all life began here in the ocean three and a half billion years ago. And most of Earth's living space is underwater. Almost all of our fresh water comes off the surface of the sea as vapor and falls back as rain and snow. Even if you've never seen the ocean, your life depends on it. Here's your chance to explore. You probably know dolphins, like the bottlenose here, are intelligent creatures. But what about sea sponges? Just how smart are they? Even brainless jellyfish are as smart as they need to be to survive in their environment. Survival may be the greatest intelligence test. Click on these animals to learn about underwater smarts.
All mountains are created by forces deep inside the earth. Born of volcanic fire or the collision of continental plates, mountains make high up homes for certain plants and animals. Mountain lions, largest of all North American cats, prefer rocky terrain and wild yaks like living at high altitudes. Climb up and click on a few of these mountain creatures. Only a few plants and animals can survive in the Earth's polar regions because of the extreme cold. Antarctica alone holds 90% of the world's ice in its freezing clutches. Animals that do live here need a lot of one thing, fat. That polar bear's fat layer may be up to four and a half inches thick, and the walrus is clearly packing a lot of blubber. Some Arctic land mammals, like the wolverine, have thick water-repellent fur instead of fat to keep them warm. Many Arctic birds spend only the spring and summer here. This snow goose, for instance, makes a 3,000-mile flight twice a year and winters in warmer climates. What other migration routes can you discover here? The Arctic squirrel, of course, is grounded and escapes the freezing winter by hibernating. Wolverine Wolverine and the Mexican milk snake are both solitary predators with strong jaws and an excellent sense of smell. While the wolverine sniffs out prey and attacks with its shearing claws, sharp teeth and powerful jaws, the Mexican milk snake hides under rocks during the day, then slithers out at night to snap up rodents and other animals in its fanged jaws. The Mexican milk snake and the tachina fly both eat members of their animal family. The Mexican milk snake not only preys on rodents but also on other snakes. The tachina fly larvae live as parasites inside the bodies of other insects, then eat these insects' internal organs until just the shell of their hosts are left.
Komodo dragon. On the Indonesian island of Komodo lives a descendant of the dinosaurs. At 10 scaly feet, the Komodo dragon is the largest living lizard. Though its teeth are razor sharp, it can't chew, so it swallows whole chunks of flesh, bone, and fur, coughing up the parts it can't digest later. The Komodo dragon preys on the wild boar. Like a real live dragon, this oversized lizard bounds through the forest and will even attack whole groups of boars at the same time. The koala spends 18 hours a day sleeping. Much of the other six hours beginning near dusk, it spends munching eucalyptus leaves. One koala will eat 500 grams of leaves in an average evening, grinding them to a fine powder in its cheek teeth to make them digestible. The koala bear and the electric eel both have misleading names. The koala bear is really a marsupial and is only called a bear because of its round ears and furry appearance. While the electric eel is not really an eel, it's a fish. Getting around the animal planet is as easy as flying. Hitch your ride on the eagle and click your mouse whenever you see a place you want to go. If you get lost, just click on the Go Back Gecko. Don't miss out on the expeditions. You'll find they start in caves waiting to be found in each of the eight ecosystems. The cool tools at the bottom of your screen are always waiting to help you in the field. To get more help, click on any of the topics listed here. <laughs>